the Alberta government is laying out its plans to make big changes to the health and education systems. As Aaron Collins explains, they include restricting access to gender-affirming treatments and changing how students are taught sex ed. A busy day in Alberta's legislature. Bill 26. Uh, Bill 27. Bill 29. Bills tabled that could mean big changes for Alberta's health and education systems. One facilitating the breakup of Alberta's province-wide health board, at the same time making controversial changes to gender-affirming care for youth, restricting access to surgery, hormone treatment and puberty blockers for minors. These policies are designed and intended to help preserve the choices children have before they make serious decisions about their bodies. Well, the new rules drafted after consulting with some members of the trans community. These all in the right spirit and the right direction to ensure that uh, kids are being protected. But that opinion far from universal. We know that gender affirming care is necessary. It is life saving care. Well, the new bills will also impact how gender and sexuality are taught in schools. Parents will now have to opt their kids in to sex ed instead of opting out. An unnecessary change, say some who teach youth about sexuality. There's lots and lots and lots of parents who are really, really happy that sexual health education takes place in schools and they don't need an extra layer of approval. The new laws would also force schools to inform parents when kids ask to change their pronouns and add limits on transgender athletes competing in sport. The suite of laws upsetting the opposition the most heinous, most rigorous anti-trans legislation, anti-sex ed legislation that we've seen anywhere in the country. The flurry of legislation comes just days before the Premier faces a leadership review. Some political watchers say it's directed squarely at the right flank of the United Conservative Party. Danielle Smith has to placate these folks that are well organized and very motivated to try to get their agenda um, front and centre. And Aaron, how concerned is Daniel Smith about the leadership vote? Well, Erica, there is a real sense out there that the Premier is sweating this vote quite a bit. And, you know, if history is any indicator, she's got some reason to be concerned. Alberta's Conservatives, well, they, they eat their own. I mean, Daniel Smith only has the job of Premier because her party kicked out her predecessor, Jason Kenney. So this weekend, what do we have? Six thousand United Conservative Party members congregating at the AGM and the question for Danielle Smith how many of them are showing up to support her and how many are showing up for her head. Thanks for this Aaron Collins in Calgary.